right, welcome back to the show. That was the game between the super guest of Nigeria and, of course, Cape Verde. Something caught me laughing. Someone behind the scene, one of the camera guys, just came to say and asked, is Ganetro or Ateta better than Ganetro? Well, it could be a question you keep pondering on <laughs> because I wonder where that is coming from. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, back to the discussion. Let's look at this one. NNL, it's all about the Super 8, and we saw some games, interesting games today. Um, early hours of today, 8 p.m. and also 11 um, a.m. 8, 8 a.m., I beg your pardon, and also 11 a.m. We saw the likes of um, Shooting Stars um, play 1-1 one, one draw against uh, Rumble Stars, and also um, the likes of El Kanami Warriors beating Ninja Tornadoes by two goals to nothing. Perhaps later on today, by 4 p.m., we get to see the likes of Gombe United play um, DMD FC and also Akiti will be up against um, Bendon Assurance. It could be a case of um, Tayo. It could be a case of shooting stars coming back to the Nigerian professional football league, the way things are going. Even though some people are saying Remo stars too are looking like, yes, they can just get back into the Nigerian professional football league. That's in the conference, Southern Conference. Then while in the Northern Conference, Maybe my own opinion, it could just be our Kanemi Warriors and Niger Tornadoes as well back to the Nigerian professional football. What's your take on this, um, Tayo? Uh, um, for um, three SCs, it's, it was a good one for them. Absolutely. Like yesterday, they won 2 1. Yes. Against uh, Bender Insurance. And today, they were able to uh, go to another draw. Um, draw. So they are making it four points. Exactly. So probably if they can win. Get another one. So definitely they look like the side that will be coming in to the Nigerian professional and they are not um, strangers. Absolutely. Today. So so I see it as an opportunity for them to rewrite uh, another story. You know, they've been to the league, go to um, rele relegation and they are coming back. So probably this time around they might just they get it right. All right, we'll get to see the likes of Remo Stars play the likes of um, Bendon Insurance in their last game. And we've been told that a draw perhaps is enough for Remo Stars to be back into the Nigerian professional football. Did, did you see this happening in their next game, Joe? Um, Remo Stars, they, these guys are properly motivated. Remember, they have a billionaire you know, as a owner. Um, I don't want to start mentioning names right now. They're properly motivated. And um, I remember the last game they had during the league. They had they had issues in Ben Insurance and now they're meeting again. You know, um, I'm just expecting these guys to go up there with uh, 3SC. For real. Because 3SC they really they really work so hard for this. They they they, they had a couple of wins away and all that. But now this super eight that they, they they won the game yesterday, right? And now they pulled the draw today. These guys were just scaling scaling there. Probably um Gombe too we're gonna join the Remo Stars and 3SC. The one of that team Okay, another another game we should be looking forward to um, is Gombe United against um, DMD FC. 4 p.m. That is the kickoff time today. Also, the likes of Air Konami Warriors will be up against um, Ninja Tornadoes um, two by 6 p.m. I, I think if that is right, well, let's see how that will happen. But just like I did mention. It could just be a case of El Kanemi Warriors and Ninja Tornadoes coming back into the Nigerian professional football because they fought hard to ensure that they get back into um, the um, into the league. Away from that, let's look at this one. Lobby Stars appoint former Spragos coach Eddie Bam Dambroy as new coach for um, the club. Were you surprised at this? Well, a little bit surprised, but. Um I'm happy because um, he, he's been given the chance to really prove himself. Well because this is the first time he's handling a team in Nigeria. He's been in Europe all the while. And he's no, he's no stranger to Nigerian football. He's um, well grounded when it comes to the games, so experienced and all that. But for one year old, giving this kind of task. And Lobby starts ending eight, you know, I mean, under the log. The only time, look, we can, we can go up there. We can be among the best three. So bringing in someone that really knows the game tactically. When he, when he was playing, he was a good player, a, mid, a midfielder. So. This is time for him to really prove himself and be among the best coaches we have in Nigeria. Probably I the national team job in the near future. 
Well, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also looking forward to see um, Enyiba International as well unveil their new coach as well, the person of Finney the Judge. There have been a lot of speculations as to them unveiling um, Finney the Judge as their um, new coach. So we are looking forward to that as well. So good one for Lobby Stars, good one for Don Bray as the new coach for um the team it's going to be very very hot like it's going to be it's going to perhaps quite interesting more than the mpfl that you and i used to i know anytime i mention this one person will come to me and say is he on tv but that's not the case for well, the fact that there are lots of new lots of new developments coming from both the players and also the the teams and the coaches i think it's just good maybe Subsequently, we will continue to see something good as to the LMC and also see uh, maybe as to the league entirely itself. Too. But for the fact that this is happening, I think we are moving to, we are gradually moving to the right direction. You smile. I wonder why it's my tire. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm being a, like a very core patriotic you know, Nigeria this time around. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we have to talk a, about it. It's a good one. Just like um, Joel has said, he has played the game. He understands uh, the terrain, although he has been in Europe all his life. And then for Finidi George, uh, if is if he's eventually signed, I think it's going to be a good one because we all knew what he did for the Super Absolutely. League of Nigeria. And the truth is, these guys for me they are not that bad uh, coaches. But you know, this issue of unpaid salary and also affects the performance of the teams. So maybe subsequently in our by next season, we have good administration when it comes to LMC and. So, this my at, at the end of the day. How soon should we see something good from the LMC? Because a lot of people will always say LMC, MPFL, no, nothing but, professional about. But but Nico said this, this was the best league he had. He had a he had a sweet uh, you know um, a Nigerian season. But would you dispute season. that? Yes, I will. Because with all with all the you know Brohaha here and then the MPFL games been abandoned. We had a case where one team brought to the player has been registered in the league. But you're telling me you had the best season so far. I wonder why it's good. That's to me, it's a propaganda. Well, well you know, like <laughs> yeah. uh, we said, was it not last week or two weeks ago? If there are um, sanctions on this uh, association, probably it wouldn't have come out to say so. Well, because you know, everybody gets away with whatever they do. Yeah. So I wouldn't blame. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, let's wait and see what will happen. But we look at a very, we are looking forward for a very huge competitive um, game as to the Nigerian professional football. Perhaps maybe by October or no November, that is when the new season will kick start. Okay, um, before we go on to the international scene, let's quickly talk about this one: Cricket World Cup. Team Nigeria arrives uh, Botswana for. Uh, women's qualifiers. Um, it's good that um, cricket um, is coming into um, lim limelight. Um, I think those days it used to be just football, basketball, tennis, but now, only recently we hear a lot of other federations to making, um, like, want to make names for themselves, volleyball, um, cricket, handball, and a whole lot, a whole lot as well. So for me, I feel this is good. And what should Nigerians be expecting as to these qualifiers, um, Joel? Well, I know like, a lot of Nigerians will be surprised. At, like, I mean, cricket, do we have a team? Yes, we do. Because um, I've been watching the cricket. I, I do go watch their games live at race course. Always, there's a league going on in cricket, it, which, which is not... Um, Some people don't yeah, know about it. A lot it. of people don't know about it. I wonder why. You know, I, don't, I wonder what the, um, the media team of the Federation is doing. To really, you know, uh, push these games out for both to really see because we have a team. We have, do you know? Do you know we have, we have, we have a rugby team in the country? We, we do. have a team. So we know. I, I know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just praying and push and um, hoping that they're going to go to Botswana and probably win the game, then prepare for the World Cup proper. But what's the part of this? What were the mode of preparation? Are they ready to go in there and compete with these people? Because cricket and Botswana, they're like twins. You know, um, South Africans, you have the, um, uh, what's it called, Philippines, Pakistanis and all that, you know, in the world level. So, I just wish them well. I wish them well. Well, we wish them well and we hope that they qualify for the major tournament. We'll take a short break. When we come back, it's all about the internationals. 
stories. We'll be back shortly.